This video is going to be on how to make your own speaker cables. First what you're going to need to do is gather your tools. You'll need a ruler, a screwdriver with a Phillips head attachment, scissors, a razor blade, and a tape measure. As far as supplies, you'll need whatever you want to put on the ends. I'm choosing banana plugs. You'll need a heat shrink to fit over your speaker cable, speaker cable, some sort of sleeving, and the speaker cable boots. Today I'll be using a 14 gauge speaker cable with a quarter inch sleeving and gold plated banana plugs as the connectors. The first thing you're going to need to do is decide how long your speaker cable is going to be. Measure out the length with the measuring tape and cut your speaker cable to length. Once you've cut your cable to length, you're going to want to slide the sleeve over top of the cable. This is probably the most time consuming part of the task. Just push it on slowly. If you're gentle, it sh should slide over with no problem. You're going to want to sleeve the whole length. You don't want to cut the sleeve until you're complete. And then after that, we'll start putting on the connectors. Once you've put sleeve over the complete cable, you can cut off the sleeve at the end. Make sure that you leave about half an inch or so so that you have room to work in the future. You're going to want to split the two cables the length of the boot that you have. You want to pull the top back so that instead of one cable, you now have two. You're then going to slide both the cables through the boot and pull out the other side. Next, you'll want to slide the boots over top of the speaker cables. If you have trouble getting the individual strands through the single parts of the boots, you can put some dishwasher detergent or some Dawn dish soap on the speaker cable just make sure you rinse it off when you're done and that'll help it slide through smoother. Depending on how you want your cable to look you can select how long your heat shrink should be. I'm going to choose one inch. Just line up the heat shrink with the ruler and then slice it off to the amount that you wish. Now once you slid the boots over top of the cable you're going to need to slide over the heat shrink. The sh shrink that I had earlier was not the right size so be aware that you may need to have different sizes of heat shrink. Just going to slide the heat shrink right on over top. You can see there's a little bit of the fabric still hanging out. That's all right. The heat shrink is going to cover that up. You're just going to take a hair dryer, hit up the heat shrink until it shrinks down to the right size. Make sure you put the hair dryer on high and hot. Once the heat shrink is complete, you can see that it's solid, it holds a connection. Now we can next put step on the is to trim the ends of the speaker cable. You're going to want to take about a half inch off the end. You just can take a razor blade, run it all the way around the cable, and then you should be able to slide off the casing. Once you trim the casing off of the wire, you're going to want to twist it with your fingers. If you have gloves at home, it would be a good time to put them on so you don't get your oil on the copper. You're going to want to trim the length so that it fits the size of your banana plug. Slide the banana plug over. You're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to screw down both screws on the sides until they're tight so the banana plug doesn't come off. Once you put on the banana plugs, you just slide over top the housing and your cable is complete. You want to repeat this to the other side. You can make these as long as you want. This six foot speaker cable is for sale online. You can also check out the article on this project on hometheatercreation.com